Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again with another cool review. So we haven't done a cool review in a little while because we were focusing so much on those power stations. So I thought, let's get something that's really fun. So Mrs. Ramblin' Bob went, went hunting and shopping and she found these guys. This is the Ember Temperature Controlled Coffee Cup Hot Chocolate Cup basically teacup whatever you want to put mug, in there yeah. mug it's, oh. A, oh, it's a mug hi everyone oh yeah. mrs rambling bob is right here by the way hi so <laughs> she picked out this and uh she really likes it so i thought let's do a review this is a pretty look at the bottom it looks all space agey so there's a lithium ion battery built into the <laughs> bottom of this cup in, in the base and then you can basically put it on this little charger pad yeah. and then you can charge up the battery mm -hmm. and then get this it's temperature controlled via app. How crazy is that, Bluetooth. guys? Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Well, that's yeah. an app, right? I know, but I think it's cool that it's like a Bluetooth like mug, like it's like the future, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to go on the internet to get it. You don't have to do the Wi Fi. You can just do it uh, with the app. Yeah, with the app, like locally. So yeah. that's nice. So you don't have to, you know, connect and have a, have a thing that takes all your information and all your private stuff, all the crazy apps out there. And then this is the plug that goes into the, uh, the, the little base here that, that charges the battery. Mm -hmm. So we're going to undo this here. I guess she really likes this, so I thought, you know what, let's put it on the channel. Mrs. Rambling Bob, what do you give as far as, oh, that's, that's too tall for that, so we got to go upside down. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do you give as far as a 1 out of 10 uh, of what you think this product is, and then we're going to see if it lives up to what, what you think it is. Definitely a solid 8, I would say. An 8, okay, well, that's yeah, fair, that's fair, you know. I, I, I personally, I don't believe in many 10s. Um, I can't give it a rating, obviously, because I've never seen it before, other than I saw it in her hand and I didn't know what it was. So, uh, when she explained it to me, it's a temperature-controlled mug cup thing, and uh, next thing you know, I'm like, uh, does it keep hot chocolate warm? And she's like... Yep, and I was like, okay, well, I'm down. Let's do a review. Okay, so I'm going to let Mrs. Rambling Bob take over. As you see, Hi. it's using 4 point, well, just about 5 watts to charge this little uh, lithium-ion uh, battery that's inside here. And then I'm going to let her take over, and that way she can kind of show it to you and explain to you uh, how you use this little fancy bad boy and uh, what to do and what not to do. Okay, here is Miss Rambling Bob. Okay, we're starting off with the fact that you know for sure it's charging. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little light on the bottom and it's going off in red. So it's, uh, well, it, I, I moved it. But when it's like flashing in red, that means it's charging. Okay, and then what happens when it's fully charged? It just stays red. It, just it stays red. Yeah. Okay, so uh, real simple, guys. Th this will flash red while it's charging. And then the, 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 the purple, I assume, means it's on. And then when it's solid color on the pad, that means it's fully charged. So yeah, and you can customize that color. So the purple one that you saw? You can customize it to whatever color you want via the app. So like, oh, that's cool. Whatever color you like, you know. So you have a little bit of ambiance too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with like, that. If you, maybe like you had a mug and I had a mug, we wanted to keep them separate, you know. You well, yeah, you can't. Color. You can't use my cup because you'll put that. You'll put that horrible coffee stuff in there, and then like, <laughs> you know, I don't yeah, want that. Tea. No, that you know the teas aren't so bad, guys. Oh, but okay. just coffee, I just can't do. I don't know what it is. I just can't do coffee. And if I get the taste of coffee in my mouth, I don't want to do nothing for like a. Probably a year and a half. I gotta recover. Okay. But that's why I liked it a lot. Is because um, for certain teas you want to keep your like water at a certain temperature, you know. Okay. And so that that way this mug will keep it at that temperature, and it also has like a list, and it knows like, oh, if you're doing this tea, it's at this. We can show it later. It's on the app, you know. Okay. So certain certain teas have to be kept at a certain temperature, otherwise what? They don't taste as good, or you know, it's just stuff like that. You know, or like it can burn the leaves, like it, the uh, oh. tea leaves and stuff that it's made out of are very like sensitive, especially like, um, I think it's like a white tea is very sensitive. Okay, okay. So do we ever have that, that, that trouble with hot chocolate? You just kind of put hot chocolate in a cup and then you drink it. Is that kind of basic, but not, teas are more fragile, you're saying? Yeah, they're all different, like, and always they can be really bitter or not good tasting. Uh, if you've had, like, a really bitter tea, you might have... Yeah, you don't want bitter. No. You'll go around with that, that sourpuss face on your face all day. You yeah, you don't want that. You don't want to drink it, then, either. You okay. don't want to throw away tea. All right, well, guys, I'm learning, too, now. This yeah. is a Rambling Bob Reviews classroom for me, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so far, it's it's a, it's a very interesting product. I'm not sold on it yet, but here okay. we go. So she's going to show you what now? Uh, the app. You want to do the app? The app. Okay. The yeah, app. I'm going to move this back a little bit, and that way you can kind of put it in front here and show people how to use the app now. Yep, I'm going to definitely do that right now. So right now it's saying that the cup is empty, which is great because it is. You know, it has a sensor in there. Wait, wait. Okay, yep, it is correct, guys. Yeah, it is yeah, empty. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Verify. then okay. you can go up here, 
And then what you can do is see how it has presets already on here. Hopefully you can see this. It says heater off. And then like a latte, cappuccino, coffee, black tea, green tea. Holy crap, Zilla. That's a lot for a coffee cup, guys. Yeah. That's and a lot of stuff. And then if you scroll down here, it also has like a timer. So Ooh, like... Ooh, lemons. I like lemons. That's what right you there. notice is I the, li the I lemons? I like lemons. Okay. So what, it, what it's <laughs> there for is like, say you're steeping your tea. You're only supposed to steep the tea bags for a certain amount of time and then take them out. Okay, wait, what? What would you call it? Tea bags. Tea bags? Wait, what do you call it? Your tea bags. <laughs> No, no. What what do you do with it? You steep them. What is steeping? Oh, so you put it in there and you take it out. So like you're soaking it, you know, you're letting it uh, vibe in there. Guys, I just throw it in a cup and then I mix it up. So but this see, is different. See, that's what these timers are for too. So if you're like, oh, I, I, you know, I need to have green tea, they can only be in there three minutes. You can press this button and the little timer shows up. Oh. Uh, and then it lets okay. you know when to take it out too. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is okay. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Mrs. Ramley Bob is a tea. Uh, I, I think doctor or something like Connoisseur. that. Connoisseur. Connoisseur. Oh, she's like a superhero of teas. Yeah. And every time that I sneeze or cough or like even itch my eyeball, she'll come running all the way from the other room and say, I have a cure for that. Yeah. And then she gives me this steaming cup of a very different smelling substance all the time. And it's always a different tea. So uh, what you're saying is when you put it in front of me and you say, don't drink that for five minutes or whatever. Yeah. That's what you're referring to. Yeah. I'm letting it uh, steep. Yeah. See, I thought she was just trying to torment me by putting something in front of me that I, I'm supposed to drink. And then she's like, don't drink it for five minutes. I'm like, what is that? Some kind of weight loss thing? No, then I would do more than five minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, fair but enough. But the only thing, the good thing is too, is you can either like, you can adjust them. So say if you had like a different timer, you can go here and press like stuff and add stuff to it if you wanted to. Okay. You can do a bunch, you can like add or it, these are just the presets that are here available. Okay. See how I can do a tea timer of what I want? Oh, you can set it for whatever you want. Yeah. Or the pre did, did that say up to 25, 24 hours? Uh, I don't know. I've never... Yeah. Oh, my God. So you can have tea for 24 hours? Oh, no, hours. minutes. Oh, okay. okay. So that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a heck of a big thing. I've never tea. actually used that part before. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've just used the presets because they're already there, and I use most of them like that. But um, And you can either change the, the set itself. So. I always call this one Crappuccino. Am I wrong? No, that's El Cacino. Oh, El Cacino. Oh, yeah, I El thought, Cappuccino. I thought it was Crappuccino. Oh. How, do you, how do you say it properly? Cappuccino? Oh, cappuccino. Okay, yeah. okay. I'd say I say I don't you like coffee, remember. guys, so I always come up with these these uh, un, 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 unhappy names for coffee. <laughs> so we're showing that it's empty. So you want to add some water? And yeah, 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 yeah. So where, can I? Do you have some here? Yeah, I got some right here for oh, you. Okay, here we go. Um, you might want to take it off the uh, the charging though, just in case. Oh, I see a piece of oil. Oh yeah, then you get shocked to death. You can't get the bottom yeah, here, let's wet. Put that we don't need that here. You can't get here the bottom wet. I'm but way I'm way over here. It's, it's safe. Okay. You can charge while you're drinking it. I just don't want to pour it on there. You know. All right. So I just put a little, a little, a little bit in there. Oh. About a, about a half a cup. Okay, guys. All right. So, what is it saying? We're at a hundred and one degrees. Now wait, it was able to do that that fast? Yeah, it did it immediately as soon as you put it uh, in there. Yeah. It, now is it warming now? Oh, it says heater off. Heater off, yeah. Okay. So we don't have the heater on. It's just detecting how warm the water is in there now. So what? What if we put the heater on? Then it would it would heat the water. Well, let's put so... the heater on while we're talking. Let's see what it do. What are you? Look at this, guys! Holy crapzilla! Yeah. So now that it knows, I want. Wait, let's put it all the way up. All the way up. How high is it go? One hundred forty-five. One hundred forty-five degrees. Okay, guys, don't drink that. You're gonna burn your little tongue. So now the heater's on, so now we just wait. 140, you're setting, now it's going to heat up in this little cup. Yeah. To 145 degrees. Yeah, it's already going up, see? Holy crap, Zilla, guys. That would keep, whoa, look at look at that. Yeah, it'll go. Holy cow, guys, that's like our inflation right now. Holy crap, <laughs> Zilla. It's going crazy. Or the price of gas. You can literally watch it go up like that. Oh, well, should I show uh, how you can change the color on it? One, two? The, yeah, the, yeah. The little... But now it's, it's warming up that fast? Yeah. Holy crap! We didn't fill up okay. the thing all the way, so you know, obviously, it doesn't well, it's still, it's still yeah. half a cup, though. I mean, yeah. you know, for it to do that, oh, oh I, I picked it up and it went down. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's so, really it's fast, guys. And, yeah. Wow. The only I, thing easier to do is like to already have it at temperature, then it can keep it, because like when you're warming it up like this, it takes more battery out of it, you know, because there's only so much battery in there. Okay, it's 145 degrees. I, I think that's a, good for me and my hot chocolate. But is 145 degrees good for any kind of a tea? I don't, you know, I, I always go off this thing to figure it out. 
Okay. It says now at like 137. Well, there's lots of it. It was a uh, cappuccino and coffee. That's yeah. all under that, right? Well, no, they're under 36, 134. So we're under that. Yeah, we're under. Yeah, so 140. Yeah. So here, guys, this I I came up with an idea. I don't know if it's good or bad, but uh, all, all all you have to do is uh, you, you bring a bottle of water if you travel and you have one of these bad boys, and you put the bottle of water in there, right? And then, <laughs> excuse me, and then you heat it up, and then you can add your tea. You could do that, right? Yeah. Well, holy crap, Zilla, guys. You, so you can, this isn't a tea warmer keeper. Uh, this can actually be a tea maker on, on uh, I saw green tea, right? So everything under green tea. Yeah. Like, it's not going to do, like, the real big heavy, like, coffee. Can you do coffee at 140? It said, said I know. Oh, it said it. Yeah. Now, is that where it keeps it, or does that, it actually cook it at that? No, that's what it keeps it at. So it'll just oh, okay. keep you that warm. So that way, so basically it's for, like, you know how, like, you have your hot chocolate, so, like, what if you were to do, like, instant coffee? Can you put, like, 145 degrees and put some instant coffee in there and drink that? I would never do that, guys. But, I mean, would someone be able to do that? I, I don't know, honestly. Probably, possibly. I, I've never tried it like okay, that. Okay, well, I think that's worth it. Oh, and uh, here, we're using uh, 41, uh, f f about, f f well, here, it just dropped out. So, <laughs> I, I saw it spike. See that, oh. guys? Up to 41 watts, I think, when it's... Uh, uh, is it heating and charging probably together, right? Yeah, it's probably taking the in, in the energy that it's, you know, releasing to heat it. Okay, okay. Well, see, you're 117 degrees already. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting there. Just a little, you know, it's obviously a small battery, so it takes a little bit of time. Um, I could also show, like I said, you can personalize it. You could change the colors, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll put this back here where you can kind of see it. Well, you, it won't be able to anyway because uh, I, I, the I, light changes too when you're heating. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So well, then, see sh that. Show people how to change the light. Then, if so, like... you see how it's changing, how it's flashing white right there. Yeah. That's so you know when you look over at your cup, you're like, oh, it's you know, it's uh, it's heating. Okay. Okay. So we go here, and then oh, you can also change how bright it is too. It'll show your battery life. So we're at sixty-seven percent. So if you're traveling, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Very uh, good. And then you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I never like Celsius, guys. I always lose track of. Uh, it's confusing. Yeah, I, I lose track of life in Celsius. So I always keep, <laughs> I, I I do Fahrenheit, guys. I so then it'll show the battery, the brightness, and then you can personalize it. So it gives you this entire little wheel, and you can change it to whatever you want to change the color. Yeah, let's go to green. Oh, green. We gotta do green. Like that green? Look at that. Oh, hey, look at that, guys. So, yeah. look, look, look at that. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, it's changing for us. Look at that. It's white. Look, look holy crapzilla. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at I Hopefully, you can see that. It's turning red I now. I can see it on here, And yeah. now it's green. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Maybe if I uh, if, if, if I lift Don't this high it. enough here. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Miss Ramley Bob, if you want to go ahead and change the colors, I think you can see it right there. It says blue, and then uh, there's like a reddish and orangey and a yellow. Well, yeah. that's kind of neat. You know, it gives a little bit of ambiance, you know. It makes and then, it... like I said, you would know which cup's yours, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's always good, guys. If I drink coffee, I might die. I don't want to die. Yeah. I, I, no, no. That's, that's oh, a yeah. horrible that's... substance. I don't like coffee. <laughs> okay. So, so okay. Oh, so, we're at 119. 119, okay. So, so far, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're doing pretty good in convincing me that this is an interesting product. I do like it to keep my hot chocolate warm. Uh, 145 degrees, I think, is more than enough to put a pack of hot uh, chocolate in there, mix it at like a hotel room, and then you have, uh, or, or in the car even, you know, you plug that in the cigarette lighter, right? And, uh, uh, you know, you can get the adapter probably, you go cigarette lighter, and then you can warm this up actually, you know, driving down the freeway, you know what I mean? Or with a, um, with one of your generators, you know, in the solar generators. Oh yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah. there you go, absolutely. The um, thing is, for these things, like especially something this small, it's easier to have it already at that temperature. And then, like, this can keep it at that than actually warming up the water. It's obviously going to take a while, you know? Okay, okay. All right, so then uh, what do we do now? It's, it's, it's 120 degrees. Yep. So now we just wait for it to warm up. I mean, it's really cool, though. And then I know it, it comes in different colors as well. So it's yeah. not just black, but black is my favorite color. So that's why it's in black. And then it'll just stay at that until yeah. you drink all your stuff. And then when it's empty, it'll say, yeah, hey, go get some Yeah, then it realizes it's empty. Yeah. So oh. then it stops. That way, you know, you don't <laughs> start a fire somehow, if that's even possible. But it, it, yeah, it realizes when it's empty, and then it says empty. So it will okay. not keep trying to heat up nothing in there too you know okay. just burn out the battery that way and then how long do you think the battery lasts in there once it's fully charged and you're out there you're driving around i suppose that would all depend obviously on the weather that you're in because if it's colder you know yeah. this would have to work harder to stay warm like say you're an ambient temperature of a room like right here is about 70 70 degrees in here in the workshop and you want to keep this <coughs> excuse me and if you want to keep this on 
for you know like uh you know a few hours can, can it handle a few hours yeah or? definitely it can definitely handle a few hours and the good thing is is like if you're like a you know, like for me i like sipping my coffee i don't drink it all right away so i'll sip it okay and then i'll set it somewhere and then sometimes i'll forget about it but okay. then with this mug i can go back to it and it's still warm and, and i'm like and then perfect how long though how many hours do you think uh, i want to say like four or five probably so four or five hours you yeah. have a good warm a uh, cup of whatever you're drinking for four or five hours. That, that's almost a whole work day, obviously guys. Obviously, it depends, like, if you, uh, um, like, how hot you need it. Obviously, the less hot, yeah. the, the more the battery's going to last. You know, it's very dependent upon that, what, you know. Now, if you also had it on this little tray thing all day, oh, it would stay warm stay. all day. Yeah, it'll stay all the okay. time, yeah. So if I were to, if I, I pick it up right now, right? It's still okay. heating, right? Because mm -hmm. it's using the battery now and not the wall. Yeah. And then, uh, so it, it's like, yep, it's still, the little light's flashing down there. Yeah, that means it's And, heating, yep, yeah. it just went up. So that's, uh, that's a really interesting technology, guys, that, that you, get, you know, basically you're putting a battery in everything nowadays. Um, it's almost there. It's 126 degrees. Uh, what did we start at? Do you remember what we started at? I think 110. At 110? Yeah. I thought I saw 107. We have to go back and watch the video. But, yeah. So, you know, I mean, you, you, you. Let us know what we started at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to put a comment down there. Tell um, us. Remind us, because we, I think it was 110, but I could be wrong. And then how how long is this video? So far, it's about 15, 16 minutes. So yeah, in about 15, 16 minutes, guys, we went up about, uh, what, 20, about, oh, yeah, there, about 20 degrees if it was 107. Oh, and there's a little thing on the bottom that, like, it goes boop, 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 when it's, like, as it's charged, as it's uh, heating up, so you know that, too. Oh, that way you know it's like, on. Like, it's an indicator? Yeah. Okay. That way you're not just, like, is it heating? Like, you're asking, you're like, is it heating? Sure, Isn't sure, it? yeah. Yeah, it lets you know that down there. That way, um, the good thing is, is once you send it to this temperature, it'll always heat back up. So, like... Until you change that. Yeah, well, yeah, to whatever so temperature So, like, want. like, uh, say, say for some crazy reason... Uh, uh, the battery was almost dead, and I picked mm -hmm. it up, and uh, you know, it started dropping. As soon as I put it back down, it'll start charging. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and the, well, the good thing is, is then, so is throughout how long ever you're using it, it'll always go back to the temperature you set it. Okay. So that we don't have to worry, like, oh, I have to set the temperature. You know, it'll always stay like that, and it gives you an update on your phone. It'll go, hey, your uh, Ember mug is ready at look, this temperature. Look at that, guys. I see. I, I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, I, I, hopefully you can see that. There's a there's a little bit of uh, yeah it's it's definitely warm. You can see a little bit of uh, like misty smoke coming off that water. Oh yeah, there you go. Here, let's try this idea here. Okay, let's let's uh, let's test it. It's 130 degrees. I mean that's you know that's definitely hot enough to uh, make you know you're drinking something warm. Yeah. Uh, let's try this trusty dusty thing, and we're gonna try the outside now. This is very important for the insulation. So here is as you see the the outside of the cup is only 89 degrees. And that's important now, guys, because look at you're going up literally 30 degrees higher inside that cup, and that's uh, that, that means that the walls are good, and you don't yeah. have to hold 120, 130 degree cup because that would obviously be very hot. So let me do. It's hard to measure water, but we'll do our best here. Uh, I got 125.6, but that's also on the surface of the water. I don't think I can get to the bottom. There, 127. It's getting closer. But uh, water is one thing that's very hard to get an accurate reading on because you don't know if you're you're doing the the surface of the water or the laser is hitting the bottom of the water or the middle. Uh, so I, I I think that's very close though. It was like one twenty seven point five. We'll do one yeah. more, just to see oh, here. Uh, it said one twenty nine at one point. Did it? Okay. So yeah. yeah, water is very hard, guys. Because here one twenty seven point eight. It's very hard to measure water with a. Uh, a laser light, an uh, LED laser light, because uh, the light bounces, <laughs> excuse me, off the water. So it reflects. So, yeah, so it's, oh. it's so I mean it, it's it's getting half of that and half up there. But okay, is there any other things with the app that we need to know about this thing? No, I believe that's pretty much it. I just like I said, I like the fact that it'll give you a little uh, notification on the top of like, hey, your uh, it's back up to temperature, you know. Okay. okay. I, I really like that just because of like uh, if I'm waiting and I need to go do something. Okay. You're, it still lets you know, hey, it, it, it's ready to go. Oh well, that's nice. You don't have to keep checking and opening the app all the time, you know. You don't have to leave the app open if you don't want to. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So we're 131 degrees. I'll put that way back here. I'll just lay it, lay it against there. You should, should still be able to see that. Yeah, you can. Uh, guys, uh, I, I I think I'm a little bit convinced here. I I, uh, I I had my doubts that a uh, you know a little cup like that on a little plate like that with a little app like that will keep uh, water pretty 
pretty warm. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's that's the head is hot. That's definitely 130 degrees. Isn't that weird that the outside is so like not hot? In, well, that's the insulation. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. It's funny though, because you forget that it's like a heated mug. Yeah. And you'll like hold on to it, and then you're like, oh, that's nothing. And then when you start drinking, you're like, oh yeah, that's really warm. Yeah, yeah, that's something to always think about when you you know you put something hot like that in your mouth. But I, I what I like is. Uh, uh, see, it's uh, 94 degrees on the outside of the mug, so that's definitely, as you can see, that's definitely uh, much hotter inside there. Uh, but one thing I like to do is, uh, you know, you sit in front of the window in the winter time and you hold that warm cup in your hands. It yeah. just makes you feel good. It's it's a strange feeling that uh, maybe it goes all the way back to the childhood or maybe your grandma where they give you the hot cup of tea or the hot yeah. cup of hot cocoa. And you just have the those good memories, you know. You're playing in the snow and you come inside. and then, Yeah, it warms yeah. up your fingies. Yeah, yeah. you, you got to warm up your fingies, guys. You got to, you know, your fingies are important. If you don't, if you don't warm them up, you're going to lose them. You, you got to keep the fingies. But yeah, okay, so... I, I, I think uh, I think I like it. Yeah. Also, as you 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 can feel it, you can attest to this. It feels like a very well built mug. Like I don't know, it sounds weird, but that's like, definitely high quality. But it's very like 100%. it's very thick. And do you know it's what like, it's? Do you know what it's made out of? I don't know, but I just know that it's like very thick, and like you wouldn't expect it. Like you know, you could have different type of mugs before. It, I have a lot of tea. You know. Like it, it feels like there's a metally kind of bottom because yeah. that's for the the battery, of course. Uh, but the the the. The side, I don't know what it's made of because it's extremely tough. Like I can barely, I'm squeezing it as hard as I can. And as you can see, it's not really, uh, there's, there's not much give. So it, it, it's not a cheap cup. You know, these are these are uh, expensive uh, uh, items, correct? Yes, and I remembered a very important thing is also they clean very well. Like yeah, it seems like they're coated. Yeah, yeah. so okay. yeah, you can't scratch it because then it gets bad. Like you can't use anything like abrasive on it. That's what they said in the. Yep, uh, yeah. Thing Otherwise, you just scratch about. off that coating. Yeah, yeah, but when you when you just like put water in it, like repels right away. So it cleans very nicely, like right, right away, which you're which you're happy about because you know you don't want to soak something with a battery in it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you just okay. put the water in. I just put a little soap and boom, and it's done. And it's perfect and it's great because it, uh, especially they also say is when you charge it, you don't want the bottom to be wet because obviously. So that's another thing. So okay, it's nice to know that it cleans right away. And then that has an off button on the bottom when you're done, so you can just boop and you're all done to go. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, I I I'm kind of sold on this one. I I kind of liked it. I didn't know what it was at first. It just kind of looked like a you know a cup to me uh, as being an old kind of. Uh, you know, I'm a simple guy, just co uh, a regular, you know, coffee cup or something will do. Uh, they have all the fancy thermoses. But, you know, the uh, the age of technology, guys, it's it's catching up to us, you know. So it's uh, it, it's it's very cool that uh, uh, th this stuff is turning into like uh, almost like a Star Trek-y kind of thing. You know, where it's uh, pretty soon we're going to push a button, a little door is going to open, and then your, your, uh, your artificially made... Uh, substance will pop out of that little machine but i i like it i like it so far yeah i i i guess it uh it, it is a little pricey but uh you know technology is always pricey when it's new that's just kind of how technology is if you guys remember the microwave microwave was like a thousand bucks when i was a kid and uh, when i first got it i just stared at it and uh like literally just stared at it because you would put this uh this little pouch in there which you know i as a kid i didn't know what i was looking at uh, i think i was a teenager when we first got our our uh, first microwave and you know they they would unwrap this little pouch and throw it in there and the next thing you know you'd hear the pop of uh, popcorn which is all a very familiar sound and the next thing you know a bag of popcorn comes out of this little box so <laughs> that's how far back uh, uh, my technology kind of you know kind of totally captivated me it's like well you can put a pouch in there and then out comes popcorn I, i'm down for this but okay yeah i'm kind of sold on this i like this man if you guys want to check it out this is called the em ember temperature control i think it's a 10 ounce cup and uh, like I said, it, it's, a, it's a little pricey, but, uh, you know, as technology goes, it'll, it'll come down. But uh, right now, it's, it's up there a little bit. But uh, this is a very, very interesting product. It uses up to 40 watts max. I saw that 40. There it is, 41. Uh, I saw that. Um, so it's, it, it's nice because it keeps it warm in the mug even when you're not on this because you know they have those things. Yeah, well, yeah, the battery. Yeah, that's because well, yeah. you know they have those things where you can put your mug on it and it's like a heater and it keeps it warm. But once you remove that mug, you know it cools down. Yep. This yep. even when you take this off of here, it stays warm because it, the mug itself is keeping it. There warm. you go. The it, bottom's just charging it. And if you guys can see that that little smoke kind of steam coming off there already, oh, yeah. it's uh, it's definitely it's 136 degrees. That's not a joke, guys. Ooh, that yeah, that's that's definitely warm enough for your fingers. All right, guys, the Ember 10 ounce cup. If you if, if you want to check it out, I have a link in the description. You can feel free to go take a look at it. 
Uh, this is another cool review from Rambling Bob and Mrs. Rambling Bob today. Woo! So I'm very happy that she's here to uh, spend some time with us. Uh, if you're yeah. not a subscriber already, guys, boy, get your butt up there and hit that button. It's free. It doesn't cost a penny. No. Like the video. It doesn't cost anything. Be a part of the Scriber family. We kind of go out and we find these crazy little inventions here, and we uh, we do reviews on it. But the, the difference is we do honest reviews because in this case, I have no idea about this technology whatsoever. That's why I have Mrs. Rambling Bob educate me on stuff like this. Um, anything else you'd like to say, dear? Join us so I can get more mugs. Oh, there you go. Okay, she, right? she, join us so we can get more mugs. Yeah. She likes these mugs, guys. I like mugs. All right, ramble on, be safe, and we'll see you next time at Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye. Bye.